Canadian cinema lineup is um, incredible. I've seen a lot of the films and I'm really excited about uh, the, the, the local talent that we're showcasing. Um, it's a really diverse lineup. I know that's something that we speak to every year, but we have say more more women filmmakers in this year than we than we ever had. Um, we have a lot of, of just new emerging voice emerging voices alongside, you know, the masters filmmakers. So I like. I like that, uh, that diversity that we can showcase here. Pain okay. and Glory, uh, when people ask me about what's gonna win the best foreign language Oscar, I'm like, well, go see Pain and Glory, go see Parasite. You might have one of them there. Portrait of a Lady on Fire is another one. Um, Knives Out, because it's like an Agatha Christie star-studded, uh, ramped up, uh, you know, whodunit um, with Daniel Craig, Jamie Lee Curtis, and it's, it's just a lot of fun to watch. Same with Ford versus Ferrari. Matt Damon and Christian Bale play so well off each other in, uh, in this story that's uh, two and a half hours, yet you're watching it and you're like, I could stay here f you know, forever. It's, it's uh, one of those films that just grabs you that way. Antigone, this is a wonderful a film by a Canadian female filmmaker, and it tells the story of, uh, of a young woman who impersonates her brother to get him out of jail because they're uh, they're they're recent immigrants to Canada and if he is if he is um, stays in jail he'll get deported and to avoid deportation she actually impersonates him and it's a story about love about standing up for what you believe in but it also tells uh, the the story of what it's like for immigrants in Canada. Joker is a psychological thriller and it goes deep and sometimes dark. It's got a terrific performance by Joaquin Phoenix, really one of his strongest performances ever. And he's a guy who's delivered a lot of great performances over the years. Uh, so that's a, a big reason why this film uh, really deserves to be framed by the context of a film festival. Uh, but also I think superhero movies have gone well beyond where they started. They're not simply popcorn entertainment anymore. They actually address ideas. We've seen films like Black Panther and Captain Marvel really be trendsetters in terms of just larger cultural conversations. And I think Joker will be another one. It has a lot to say about mental health. It has, has a lot to say about family. Uh, and all of those elements are, are bigger than just, you know, the, the, the supervillain character of the Joker. I think just mercy is a film that will leave people devastated. It's an incredibly powerful, emotional film uh, with Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx and Brie Larson, a story about the death penalty and what a lawyer will do to try to um, prove the innocence of uh, a man who's on death row awaiting a death sentence. A uh, very strong film. I think Hustlers is going to be a real talking point for, y for months to come. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, who knows how any of these films will do in award season, but I think if you're thinking about the films that people are going to want to see and will be talking about, you would include those. And then Jojo Rabbit is another one as well.